Today, Triumph announced a whole bunch of pop-in new finishes for their Bonneville and Rocket lineups, and they'll be known as the Chrome Editions, with 10 bikes included. Now, the concept behind it is to celebrate the chrome tanks of iconic Triumphs over the years, from the original 1937 Speed Twin to the Triton Cafe Racers of the 1960s. And I was lucky enough to see every single one of these new Chrome Editions at their headquarters in Hinkley, so here they all are in price order ascending. So first up, we got the Speed Twin 900, formerly called the Street Twin, and it's a bike that I'm super familiar with because I own one for a few years. It's a great little retro with a brilliant 900cc engine, slightly more contemporary than some of the other bikes in the lineup, but still with that unmistakable Bonnie style. Now this Chrome Edition gets the red hopper paint job, and then it's got the metal knee infills and the jet black tank stripe down the middle there. Also, you get the triangular Triumph logo on the tank there with the same metal. Tiny in with the black stripe, you've got black on the mud guards and the side panels, and you've also got a little bit of extra detail on the logos here. So here we've got the T100. This is a really nice little retro bike. Plenty of nice touches on this with the brush silencers, the little Triumph logo across the mud guard there, and I really like the cockpit with the twin analog clock. Now on this Chrome Edition, we've got a cobalt blue tank with this metal stripe down the middle, matching jet black mud guards, side panels, seat cowl, and headlight bolt. And I guess that Chrome stripe allows them to be a little bit more playful with the colour, so this is one of the more colourful bikes in this Chrome Edition lineup. So this is the Scrambler 900, so the 900cc high torque engine, and basically offers a slightly more aggressive and off-roady vibe to something like the Speed Twin 900 or the T100, or you could look at it as a more accessible version of the 1200 Scramblers, which do sit pretty tall, and this is a lot more manageable for most riders. Now I really do like this colour, it's called Brooklyn's Green, and on this bike you've got the Chrome knee pad infills again, and then a jet black stripe down the middle of the tank there. On top of that, you've got the matching jet black mud guards, jet black side panels, and frame cowl, and you've also got that triangular Triumph logo on the tank there, with the same metal as the knee pad infills. Definitely like this one, I really like the Scrambler 900 in the sort of khaki green, but this just has a bit more of a premium feel to it. So here we've got the T120, the bigger sibling to the T100, as so you get the full 1200cc Bonneville twin, twin discs up front, and then some nice little extra features like cruise control, some extra chrome on the headers, and the DRL on the headlight. Now we've got a beautiful finish on this one, it's got full chrome on the tank and then Meriden blue accents, that's a colour that's appeared plenty of times in Triumph's history, and then you've got jet black on the mud guards, headlight bolt and side panels. It's such a capable all-rounder this bike, I'd even go so far to say as it's a little bit underrated. You can ride a bit quicker on it because it's got that bigger engine, but it's really comfortable even two up and you could even do a bit of light touring on it. Plus with this new chrome edition, it's just got a bit more of that heritage feel. Now before we get onto the next one, I just want to say a massive thanks to Beeline Moto for sponsoring the channel. They make this awesome little navigation device that looks perfect on a retro bike like the Bonnevilles, and yet the navigation features in the app can rival any modern sat-nav equivalent. Plus, they even make a Triumph branded version which finishes the bike off perfectly. So if you want to find out more about this brilliant little product, then head to the links in the description. And once again, a massive thanks to Beeline Moto for their support. Now here we've got the bobber. This has got the 1200 CC high torque Bonneville twin, and then a proper cool like custom cruiser style. Nice and low, single seat setup, a big chunky tire at the front, and it really is a great looking bike. Enhanced by this chrome edition, so we've got the chrome tank with the jet black painted over the top, and the triangular Triumph logos on the side there, and then jet black mud guards and side panels. The bobbers always look kind of mean to me, it's got that low stance and the big chunky front tire, and so I think this slightly more stealthy take on the chrome edition really works on this bike. Now if you like the look of the bobber but perhaps fancy something a little bit more laid back and distance orientated then look no further than the Speedmaster. You've got the same torque rich engine and roughly the same chassis layout but what it adds is the really swept back handlebars, twin seats so you can carry a passenger and much more padding and support for the rider. The foot pegs also sit a little bit further forward there and you can add an accessory windscreen and it really is a nice comfy bike. It really impressed me when I tried it out last year 
here. In the chrome edition, you've got the fully chrome tank and then Diablo red surrounds with jet black mudguards, side panels and the headlight bolt. Very nice indeed. And the chrome and red really suits that more old school vibe. So here we've got the XE version of the Scrambler 1200 and this has a bit more of an off-road bias. So more travel in the suspension, that gives it more ground clearance as well. And of course, the seat sits pretty tall. On the plus side though, it really is very capable off-road, especially for this sort of retro scrambler genre. Now this one gets the fully chrome tank and it gets a stripe of Brooklyn's green across the middle there. And then you've got brushed aluminium on the mud guards, brushed aluminium on the heat shield, and then jet black on the headlight bolt and the side panels. So here we've got the Thruxton RS, a brilliant cafe racer. It's got the 1200 high power variant of the Bonneville Twin, fully adjustable suspension courtesy of a Showa fork and Olin shocks, a proper good spec Brembo braking system. And so it really is like a retro that really goes. In this chrome edition, you've actually got a fully chrome tank, which I think looks absolutely awesome. And then a nice little touch is that the seam along the bottom there is actually painted jet black. So that makes it kind of sink into the background. On top of that, you've got jet black on the mud guards, the side panels, the seat cowl and the headlight bowl. And I think it all combines for a bike that really looks like it was made for this finish on the fuel tank. It's definitely evocative of the original era of cafe racers. And for me, this might well be the best of the bunch. Now this one's the Rocket 3. I'm sure you'll recognize it. The world's biggest production motorcycle engine. 221 newton meters of peak torque, which is the most torquey production motorcycle engine as well. And as you may have guessed, it's a proper big bike. Really long, feels really wide, and it's got such road presence. This is the R model, so slightly more sporty focus. Mid position foot controls, slightly further forward on the bars. And this one gets the fully chromed out tank with a jet black accent at the front there. Plus you got the matching jet black fly screen, headlight bowls, front mud guard, radiator cowls, side panels and rear bodywork. And for me, this just all ties in really nicely. It looks still quite mean and stealthy, but you've just got that pop of chrome on the tank that lifts the whole bike. So here we've got the Rocket 3 GT. This is the slightly more touring focused version of the Rocket. And as a result, you get the forward foot controls, bars that are swept further back, and also some nice little touches like the passenger backrest there and the fly screen. Now this one gets the fully chrome fuel tank and it's got this Diablo red accent around the front there and then you've got jet black on the fly screen, headlight bowls, front mud guard, radiator cowls, side panels and the rear bodywork. And it's such a massive fuel tank on this bike that it really does look super impressive in this all chrome finish. Now these bikes will be available for a year just like the gold line editions that came before them. So no limit on the number or limited edition numbers printed on the bike, just a 12 month window in which you can order from your dealer and as of now. As for the price, well, the 900s add 350 quid because they're not fully chromed, whereas the 1200s add 800 quid because they do get the full chrome tank. And then the Rockets, they're 900 on top of the regular RRP because the tank is absolutely massive on those bikes. Personally, I think the Chrome Edition Thruxton is a thing of beauty, but if you're still a bit puzzled by the wealth of choice in the Bonneville lineup, then fortunately, I've made a full guide that highlights all the key differences and you can watch it by clicking in here now.